Hello Wildcats. Here's a quick video on how to add students to um, Edgenuity Pathblazer. So if you're the instructional specialist or if you're the interventionist working with these kids, shouldn't have to do this after this week. It's supposed to update automatically, but I just want to make a quick video in case you guys uh, run into this. This is how to do it. So after you've logged in, um, you may just see your particular campus. Uh, I'm going to see all the schools here, so I'm just going to start with that. Um, you're just going to click on the number of kids on your campus, and that will bring everybody up. And so the first thing you want to do is double check and make sure that that student isn't um, in the list somewhere. And the way you do that is you come over here and you just click in this uh, little box you can see that it says last name and when I type in the kids last name and click search it will look for the kid and let me know if they're in there so we're looking for Zarada so I'm just gonna click there make sure it says last name type in the name and I'm just gonna search and sure enough no results found so now the next thing I have to do is come back up here, click all schools, go back into Greenleaf because that's where this guy is. And now I'm just going to add this student. And the way I add this student is I come up here under the new tab and I get a drop down. And depending on your level of uh, access to Pathblazer, you may or may not be able to add a teacher, an administrator, a group, or a district admin, but you should be able to add student. So we're going to click on student. And then this is pretty self-explanatory. We're going to fill in um, first name. We're going to fill in last name. We're going to fill in the grade level. We're going to do the student school. ID and then we're going to do username and password so let's get that information in there and um, we'll come back to this in just a second so my little guy is uh, actually this is a young lady and her name is Diana she is a fourth grader and her student ID is going to be 0645596. We're not going to force a password reset. Now remember our uh, naming conventions are first initial, last initial, and then the student ID without the zero. Password is Wildcats. 1 8 and we have to do it twice and we're going to put this student in Pathblazer reading K through 5 Pathblazer math K through 5 I'm going to go all the way down that's all we have to do click on subjects got her in the right grade click save and then we are done now if we want to check her uh, what we can do is come back over here type in the last name again and you see where we've added her and we are now good to go so real simple real quick um, nothing to it just remember we are using first initial last initial and then the five digits of the um, student ID without the zero and the password is wildcats18 alright you shouldn't have to do that uh, we sh we're paying for the automatic nightly upload through one roster but if you get in a pinch and a kids not in there uh, that's how you do that feel free to give me a call if you have any questions or you get confused uh, we're here to help have a good one